hello everyone welcome back to again to my channel so this is same series of uh, .NET Mayu and in this session we'll learn actually we'll learn or we'll implement uh, that delete functionality okay so in previous session we learn how we can swap to right swap to left and then how we can add this item and icon icon okay so if you don't know about that so i'm especially recommend to go to my channel and go to that dotnet myu playlist section you will get all the se session of this dotnet myu okay so let me try to delete okay so let me show the demo discuss the demo then click the delete it should be delete okay see so once you click delete so that data is gone okay so this functionality will be achieved in this session so let's get started so this is same example whatever in this series we are taking care okay so let me open this view view model and open this main view model see this is that command okay delete command we already uh, created in this last session in this swap view implementation so here we'll try to put some logic how we can uh, delete uh, from our api so that is a simple approach whatever we did in earlier okay same thing we have to done like for example we already config so we have to call we have to get from that api url and then we have to perform okay so how we can do that let me get started okay so let me just bring the some code which is already we've done over here okay for this okay so we required this code okay so that we can get our data our api url from that config okay so similar i'll call that configuration get record section app setting and get the data if you know you don't know how we can what is we are doing over here so definitely i am re recommend to you please go to my previous session and we are actually explain everything in great details how we can get the data from the app dot setting with the uh, development environment production environment all the environment okay so it is simple we get that uh, data from here and then call the api and here actually okay one more thing actually we just pass our items so block item over here just block to block item and if you see actually we pass a parameter actually over here as well so if you go to main dot uh main dot main page dot xml file see we passing as a parameter as a bind dot dot so whatever item of this blocks block we'll get over here actually so it is fine it is simple then call it to over here uh just slash and then because in our delete you know in our delete api so if you go to api so this is my api so see this is my api so expectation is like whatever endpoint okay and this endpoint we have to pass some id okay this is id which id we want to delete just pass with this url uh url url uri id okay so that's why i'm just adding here whatever id so i'm just passing that id dot id so that url is completed now what need to do we have to create you know one uh, service that actually will handle will pass over here and that that will handle to delete the operation okay so if you go to services okay so we already implement two services you know get block by id and post block okay so now we also it is a get blocks okay the, all the blocks so this is a three operation over here you know this is a list this is a get by id it is a post okay so we done this services this services and this service. but now we have to implement this services okay so how we can do that very simple uh what need to do just create a method okay and call it to public async and task and then return type should be a bool because we can make sure okay it is success or not 
okay and then finally we can call it uh, service name is a uh, delete delete blog blog async okay async and then we can pass a uh, that api uri okay from that ui uh, that view model api uri that's it and now we can call this guy http client and uh, http client dot delete okay there is a method of delete 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 a sync okay and then passes to uri okay and what is the re response it is a response getting our http response so just uh, passes to over here where dot response response okay store as a response and then we have to check okay it is successfully delete or not so how we can check it that response has a http response as a many method so is is successful code is successful is succeed status okay is succeed uh, succeed status should be okay i think we miss something that's why it's not appearing properly okay so yeah now once is is succeed yes this one so this one make sure like you you have succeed api is you know proper uh proper delete or not that status code will be make sure okay and it is it is success then just return true okay true and otherwise just return false that's it okay just i i for the demonstration i just put you know very simple things but yeah we can do many things over here like for our services like we can put on a try catch and then we can capture a block uh, we can capture uh we can capture the error error handle as well many things we can do but it is a very simple as of now for demonstration and we have to create a declaration as well so go to your block services okay and just call over here that's it okay our services has been created okay now need to call in our uh view model okay so where is our view model here just i need to call that one so how we can call it already we call over here if you don't know please watch that video from a starting a starting session i guess yeah so let's call this guy block service actually we resolve the dependency as well and block service call that delete blog and what is the expectation param expected parameter is api uri so this api uri okay and this is done and then make it to await Okay, we can because we use a sync method and also we can you know make sure it is true or false that logic will not doing over here okay and then finally uh once delete so we we have to load actually the data whatever our load data so where is that method this is that method so that we can so see suppose we are in the delete functionality what we are doing we trying to delete in number api okay but after delete our list whatever our list okay so see this is list so this list should be you know updated as well so that's why i call this load data async so that after delete again it will call load async and what is what are doing with this load async again it will get that get blocks and it will bind in our list okay so let me run and check it okay let me first build so that we can make sure it is perfectly built there is no error okay build succeed so let me run and uh, okay now it's populating okay and now what we will do we'll try to delete so before delete we just try, okay we have already delete endpoint over here okay if we to check like go to implementation as well like it is proper delete or not we can our api is proper deleting or not we can we will check in by debugging so just trying to delete entity framework okay, just right swap okay not right so actually i i 
I, I change it to left swipe okay so just click the delete okay so your delete comma uh, command is fire and just when you run uh, continue so you will get it will call the services and just debug and f10 f10 and uh, we'll check the status as well it's just wait sometime it will okay see it's delete it is gone okay so i think some debugging issue over here that's why it's not uh, i think i press continue that's why it's gone okay so that is fine but yeah ideally the achievement is we, we have achieved right so whatever we are trying to achieve so it is very simple let's close this one i think something happened in this emulator that's why it's uh, trying to do okay so just recap what we're doing uh okay we'll first doing in this uh view model okay in this view model we just uh, get the configuration okay whatever our configuration inside our app dot set uh, is development here like we want that endpoint okay so we get that endpoint so this is a get endpoint mechanism how we can get the endpoint okay and after that we are trying to actually interpolation our url whatever url we want like our main url then slash our endpoint and then we have to pass our id okay so we create our id and then just passes to our services and what are doing in our services go to implementation just take it that parameter and call it to http client and pass it to delete async and it will delete it will delete and get the responses true that's it okay and then finally load your data okay and it will it will show it, it, it will show that your list okay list will also will update it okay so that is fine and video we will learn how we can add it actually so that part it's pending so this one will cover in the next thank you have a nice day